holding. I'm testing this charger with four caterpillar batteries. I started this test about quarter to twelve. This is the charger. What I notice is although they said it's pulse but there is no way I could see if the pulse is working and I have five of these desulfators I bought to try to rejuvenate my batteries but since they said that one is a 500 amps and it's an intelligent pulse upgrade both 12 and 24 volts i bought it but i do think the pulse on it is working right now i have it set to automatic but if i do put it on manual you are not seeing no change yeah it has done a full indication but whether you move that to put it on car or motorcycle or the owner and off it's not working let me try the other it's not doing anything so i don't believe this is what they claim it to be but it seems to be charging so i'll continue monitoring it I have four batteries hook up. It's at 7.5 amps and the charging voltage is in Chinese or Japanese. The manual for that charger you have to read it how many times to try to understand it because it's uh, Chinese trying to break down into English and it's kind of confusing there are many chargers like that on Aliexpress the same features a different amperage and different sellers I have a whole heap of chargers as I stated earlier which I made some of them I repaired some I modified I bought right now two chargers I will pause this video for now and I'll resume at a later date if this charger, so-called charger, doesn't blow up. These are my chargers. This one I repaired. This one I bought. This one, the transformer burned. I bought this transformer, but it's not putting out 12 volts. It's putting out 11, 11 something. This charger is older than my last child. This charger I made out of a 
microwave transformer. I put a capacitors, a thermostat, and so forth into it. This is the top and bottom from a computer CD case. This charger I made. I made a video out of this charger. Actually, this one is working pretty good. I think it's about uh, 12 amps. It putting out or, or more. I can't remember exactly. These uh, meters I bought. Actually, I think I'll make a video to show how to hook up these uh, meters that and this one this is an, another charger which i also repaired the analog scale for it went i took out some parts in it to get it going but the transformer i could only get it's 12, 6, 12, and 24 volts. I didn't try the 6 because actually, how many people have 6 volt batteries? So I didn't try the 6, but the 12 and the 24, I could only get one to work. If I hook up the 12, the 24 would go off. I bought some switches, selector switches that I could select between 12 and 24. But since I couldn't get it going, I decided to just leave that alone. I had some meters, which was um, 10 amps. But anytime I connect the charger to electricity without current, I think I have some of those meters. I made a, a video out of it. It would burn. But these are much better. Which when I do in the, the video on these meters, I'll speak about the other meter. So far, this is all my my battery chargers. This one I bought. I made a video out of that. And I think I got a lot of bashing for it. But it, it works good. It works pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Most of these chargers, except in this one, whenever I, I charge in, I would put the desulfator on them. As I stated, I have five of these desulfators. But whenever you engage the pulse, on this charger you could see it is working you could see it's doing something but the other charger I have outside you're not seeing anything I'll pause this video for now until as a matter of fact I have two more transformers which I would be doing. That's one. I'd be making a 12 or 24 volt charger with that one. This one is a spot welder. I made. It's working, but I didn't continue. I didn't continue with it. But I have everything there for it. All I need is a proper case for it. 
Yeah, and this is it for now until the other charger outside start doing something. Yeah, this is some of the batteries I have on the diesel fission. I don't know if you could see that 12 8 the batteries here are sitting at and these batteries I'm not using them for the input I just keeping them on charging them now and again and I have them on the diesel fitter. I'm using these uh, old batteries that cannot be revived. These uh, batteries I'm keeping on the inverter and the two at the back the batteries i'm keeping on the inverter also after charging i usually put a test load on them I test in the the electrolyte with this hydrometer and I using this battery tester on them also once with that once you know the capacity of the battery the cranking arms you putting it in and it will calculate everything but i prefer this one once you connect this one it gives you cranking arms and everything tells you whether it's good or bad so this would be it for this video but I would continue testing that battery charger and I'll keep you all informed this is it for this video if you find it was informative please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos a good day and thank you